today. Okay, so I know uh, you probably just see me go like that, but this is a stress ball, okay? And my friend made it. And there was a smiley face on it, but since how hot it was at my school, we, uh, she could not do it. And as you can see, this is a blue. I don't have any blue. And so I thought, well, maybe I might go ahead and cut it open. But first, go down there. My name is Reagan. That's what I look like. My name is Reagan. And if you haven't already, go ahead, go down there, subscribe, and hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys want. And if you guys did subscribe, uh, put in the comment section, hashtag bananas rock. But yes, so now let's do this. All right, wait, now I'm gonna get a close up on this. Uh, okay. Ready, set. I'm scared. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. It's kind of sticky. It's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, guys, look. Okay, this is actually really surprising because I don't know what these little beads are. Oh, I just dropped one. And I don't know what they are, but they're like in it, and I feel like it really makes it have a different texture than whatever kind this is. But other than that, guys, it's super duper sticky, but I guess it has to be sticky because, you know. Oh my gosh, it just got up here. Wow. I have my little camera thing all set up, so that's. Probably the reason why, guys, um, you guys are a little bit higher than what I thought. Oh, okay. Here, I'm gonna get it. Oh, there's some on it. Open it up. It's warm too, so that means that wasn't made like, like five seconds ago or something. Plus, guys, I just got off the bus and I was so ready to cut open the squishy. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to do it right now. But yeah, and my friend's name that I did make this was her name is Samantha. And so, um, yeah, the beads, Samantha. I feel like you shouldn't have added the beads. But it does, I guess you could say that adds a bit of a cool texture. Because as you can see, guys, it is falling out. And I feel like this is like, uh, like a different type of Tide. Because she told me that she did do Tide. But see, it wasn't blue Tide. See, like, because it's not blue. Like, it's white, you know? This, I give this like an A plus because look how stretchy. I mean, like, my divas. If she can, I want to contact her, guys. See if I can get a little bit more squishies. Like, this is, like, really good sign. But see, the problem is, is that of how, like, how it feels like I don't like the beads in it the beads I don't like any type of bead sign okay let me just tell you that that's just a tip that's just a thing about me okay I don't like bead slime I like just regular slime you know jiggly slime or fluffy slime or butter slime or something like that but I cause look the beads go everywhere and it just makes a whole mess but I am super grateful that she did make this um for us to cut open or well, for me to cut open uh and share it with you guys and I'm happy uh she doesn't know about my channel so i will have to tell her about it so then y'all but 
I have to, I'm going to, oh, there's, ah, see, I knew that it felt like on the bus, because I kept squishing this. This was a stress ball and stuff. But see, this, I knew that there was some, like, without, like, any stuff in it, and it's, like, super stretchy for, like, really good fun. And thank you so much, Samantha. Um, Boaz is her name, Samantha Boaz. And you can just, you can just, like, cut straight through it. Actually, no, you can't, because there's a rock there. But it, like, feels so good. It's not even funny how good it feels like. Um, I can make more of this in the future because I love this slime so much. It it makes me want to cry. I'm just kidding. Ew. Oh, birthday cake. Look at that. That's another reason why I don't like a uh, sign that's like this. Because, as you can see, it's like, sh it's stretchy, and that's the thing that I've never been able to truly, like, get with my slimes. But see, the thing is, is the crunchiness of it. of it but I feel like she just poured in like a whole pack of it so there's no way to get it out but god knows maybe I could add this to like a bigger slime in the future or something another reason why I don't have very much signs because I drop them on the floor and then it gets hair on it and all that because I have a dog guide and my dog gets hair everywhere and then I have hair and uh, yeah so my room has a lot of hair so I hate this now I feel like I'm never ever gonna get any more signs Samantha And now I feel like people actually take our channel seriously, but not like too serious where we can't have fun, you know? Like, and I feel like I have people who watch after me. And, okay, so I, I didn't tell her this, but she did pick a right color, so I'm just gonna do this for a backstory. So, I didn't tell her to give me a, um, uh, where'd I put it? Oh, good. I didn't, I did not. I swear on my whole entire life and on my friend's life and on my boyfriend's life and everything, I did not do this. I run. So I did not tell her to um, put in, I mean, not put in, uh, I did not tell her to put the, um, to put this, this slime or whatever inside of a blue balloon. But I guess the backstory for that could be that. Well, Dan TDM, his, um, okay, this is really going to start making me emotional. We are based off of Dan TDM, and we are supporters. And I checked the other day, or the other weekend or something, and I checked his YouTube, and he had a video. We need to actually take this seriously. So I looked on YouTube. I looked up Dan TDM because I always am on track and everything and I'm always so positive because he's positive and he makes me just so happy and especially the things that I go through in my time and period 
of living and everything and I love him and everything and then I watched a video and this is where it really made me disappointed and emotional. He didn't post videos that week, like barely. He posted like two videos or one or two videos th throughout that week. But he, then he seemed like really unusual, like something was wrong. And then he gave us an explanation and he said on that title of that video, goodbye Peggy. And that is one of his pugs, okay? And, that, and those of you that do not know, pugs are like, his and my favorite animals because they're so adorable and everything. And I just love them. And that's how I got into pugs and everything. And he has a Dan TDM vlog. Go check that out. Um, and everything. But then I read, I was watching it. And at the end he started crying. Like really bad. And it just made me, it, it made me have a meltdown. And I thought since we supported Dan TDM and everything through our lives and everything, I thought that I'd better share this with you. And those of you that have not seen that video yet, uh, you guys have really got to go see it. Um, it. It was a tragedy. I'm going to tell you one thing that happened in that video, but the rest you guys can go find out and go subscribe to his channel. Um, but one thing is that thing. Uh, so here is how it started. Peggy, she... um. She was um, sitting there and stuff, and she felt really agitated and very, she felt, she was weird. She was, like, nervous or whatever, and she was doing that and stuff. She kept doing it and doing it and doing it, so then Dan TDM thought it would be better to put it, to put her down, and I feel like that would have been better because he could not stand to see her being suffered and everything. And those of you that say that it's false or whatever, go check it out. He cries, and he doesn't put water on his face like how Jake Paul does. I am a Jake Pauler, but I just have to let that know that that is real, and he and Peggy is a real animal, um, and I just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that, because we support him, and if there's something that's wrong with him, there's something that's going to be wrong with us. I thought that I better share that with you. And that just made my heart drop. I felt a sudden in my heart where I felt like that I was like Peggy, where I was dead. I felt like things couldn't live anymore. No one could. I felt like I couldn't live. I felt like my brother couldn't live. No, none of my family could have lived. That's what I felt like. I felt like that we were all in oops. Those of you that don't know what an oops is, an oops is basically a human being that was not meant to be had or by their mothers or whatever. They meant to have like a boy or something like that. If it was a boy, then they meant to have a girl or something. Or if they didn't even inspect you at all. I feel like that's what all of my family is. But we aren't. Guys, we're better than that. We all are. Rest in peace, Peggy. Bye, guys.